Two police officers gave evidence in court that they had, embarrassed, the force after an incident with a schoolgirl in a hotel room. Two Sydney police officers facing misconduct charges after having sex with a teenage schoolgirl in a hotel room, after one of them picked her up while on the job, would troll the areas they worked for sexual conquests, a court has been told. Longtime friends Angelo Delosa, 31, and James Deli Nicolas, 30, both gave evidence in front of the Downing Centre District Court on Friday after pleading guilty to one count of misconduct in public office. The pair, linked to the New South Wales Police Transport Command at Bankstown in Sydney's southwest, both acknowledged they had embarrassed the police force with their actions after having a consensual threesome with the 17-year-old schoolgirl referred to in proceedings as Violet, and filming part of it. Between May 2019 to May 2020, Delosa and Deli Nicolas frequently spoke to women and handed out their phone numbers while on duty, attempting to score a sexual relationship, agreed facts stated. They used what they called a bat phone to communicate with women while on duty. The court was told that Deli Nicolas would use his position as a police officer to pick up women and would keep a pile of post-it notes with his number on it to give out to females he spotted while on duty. He gave out probably a few a week, he told the court. Delosa too, on nine occasions over the 12 months, approached women while working. Crown Prosecutor Carl Prince told the court it was not about whether the actions were moral or whether the men had been unfaithful to their wives in having sex with Violet, but the abuse of his position as a police officer. His conduct has fallen so short of what was expected of him that it merits a charge and criminal punishment, he said in respect of Delosa. But Delos's barrister Margaret Kinneen SC said the offence was motivated by some kind of sexual frustration rather than the classic decision to let the public down by abusing one's office. The pair, who were initially charged with non-consensual sex on the schoolgirl before the charges were later withdrawn, also told of the dramatic toll the sexual assault charges, which garnered plenty of media attention, had on them.